All right, I'm back. I just wanted to share. I did a couple more, and I did a whole picture frame. So I want to show that. I'm going to bring this in a little bit. And I did this one, which is your basic, you know, when you chisel on a tree or something, right? Sarah and Joe. I just thought that was cute. I'll probably keep that one. I did a little cat. And I think, I don't know, I might try some food coloring and give them green eyes and like a red, a little pink nose and a red heart. I think that looks super cute. And then I did this one, which totally inspired me to do a picture frame. And I'll show you that. I took it around the sides a little bit. And I'll tell you what, I think you really have to get the, the tip really hot. The curves are hard because even on the, on the picture frame, I'll show you. It's just hard, but I think at a distance, it comes together okay. So this is just, I just doodled this on here. Uh, I like the, um, let's, I'm gonna grab a stylus. The shading was so fun. I just took this, the standard, the, whatever, the, the main tip they give you, and I just took it and kinda dragged it across the checks. And it worked pretty well. Excuse me, I burped. Um, and then all the main design lines, like see how like it's like really thick here? I'll come in. Because I mean, it's not perfect. And, and there's probably ways I could fix it. You know, but it's hard to go around those curves. Um, it's much easier to do the straight lines like I did on this flower. This flower was a really cool design to do because it was all straight lines, you know? And even pulling this curve of that leaf, it, it's just hard. That nib, I'm gonna have to do some more research, try to watch some more videos. Um, but all the main drawing line, like this is really thick. I, I really cut into this leaf. I can feel it, it's raised on that one and some of them are deeper than others like you can really feel see this is flat but this is really deep like I pushed harder on like this leaf is very etched um, and then all the dots on the inside of the design are that one nib I just put it's like a I call it the bullet tip but I just pushed that down to make those dots and the same tip I did the swirl so I could probably work with that a little bit more. It's kind of like a stylus tip, like this. It's more, it's about like this width. And I just held it there and just moved it in a swirl. I didn't put a lot of pressure. And that was pretty cool. So that's another um, way to go. And I actually wrote my name with that tip too. Whoops, sorry. So I, I was able to write my name slowly and it, it's pretty consistent you know um, so I did the swirls and then all the little tiny dots I did that in the middle of all the small flowers I put um, the teeny tiny dots with the little teeny tiny I think that's actually maybe for cutting stencils but yeah, I just wanted to come back and show. I mean, this took me about an hour probably. We ate dinner, and then I thought, let me go back in there and play. And I thought, you know, I think I have, this is one of those dollar store frame, and not dollar store, um, sorry, Michael's, but it's a dollar um, wooden frame. And I mean, it's still, I think I want to say pine, or what, it could be some, I wish they labeled them what kind of wood it is, you know, so you'd know. But it's not in the wood burning department, so it's just in their regular wood department. Um, but I like having that shading. I wish I knew how to do that better because I would love to have like done it around some, or maybe these leaves, the little leaves, I would have shaded because I put the um, the vein lines in the big leaves, but I would have shaded the little ones. So I don't know. I just wanted to come back and show you that, and I it really all started with this little spoon, and this was pretty easy to do. I did that little kitty cat. 
I might have to color that because that's just too cute. And it looks like like this wood is different. Maybe all of these wood are different. I don't know if they cut the spoons. They're by the same company. It's the same exact thing. So, um, anywho. All right, you guys, I just want to add this on because it really didn't take me long. And I just played a little bit more and experimented. And I used these little, see, I did the swirl first on here to see if it would do it and I also tried the shading on here so I because I knew I just wanted to shade these boxes and so I was you know you just try it and then um, you get to see what you can do so that's that I think it's pretty cool all right that's it thanks thanks guys thanks for watching